Nixon declined to claim victory, even though it was his, until Humphrey had conceded, and a little afternoon today, Humphrey did, with tears in his eyes. He was gracious about it, and so was Nixon, and so were President Johnson, and Senator Muskie, and Governor Agnew, and so were Wallace and LeMay. Humphrey was in Minneapolis, and here's a report from contributing editor Jack Perkins. Last night, Hubert Humphrey came to this ballroom and said, you know me, I'm always optimistic, things will look better in the morning. And in the morning, California was gone, and Illinois was gone, and the election was gone, and Hubert Humphrey returned to the ballroom.
been a lot of hard work. I don't want anybody to have any extra sympathy. As a matter of fact, what I'd like to have you do is just redouble your efforts to do what you thought you were doing and what I thought I was doing. Maybe we can make an even greater contribution to the things that are important in this country. I really don't feel very badly. I uh, actually feel that uh, we've done a heck of a job. We'll continue the campaign right away, but I, I just thought you ought to know you maybe ought to have a little rest. We intend to take some. We're not quite sure just what we're going to do with the next few days. Uh, we're going to stay out here in Minnesota. I haven't mowed the lawn for some time. And uh, there still is a few things to do out at our place. As a matter of fact, I feel a great sense of both release and relief. And I hope and pray that all of you will feel the same way. I want you to be of good cheer. I'd like to have you feel a little happy. It's not easy, uh, but uh, quite frankly, this was an uphill fight all the way. I was the first one to know it. And I think the last one on the line of my staff that recognized it, I never had any doubt that it would be a close fight. Come see, come saw, you know, one way, one, it bounced a little one way, bounced a little another. We've got a president-elect. He's going to have my help. Cheers. Cheers.